One of the most common questions we get on the technical help desk at SMV is how far can floor deck span? There's a short answer to that question and a long answer. Short answer depends on product, so with the products that we have available, TR50, you're looking at a 2.68 metre span, bar 51 plus, you'd be looking at 3.56 metres, TR60 plus, looking at something like 3.99 metres, and then for TR80 plus, it can go as far as five metres. Those spans rely on numerous design criteria um, that you can see outlined for those specific examples shown on the screen. However, those are very specific design criteria that might not match the build that you're looking to produce or the specification or design you're looking to carry out. And in truth, that's just the short answer. It's a bigger question than that because there's many different parameters that the span of the deck relies upon and we're gonna look at those now. First of all, you've got product type, which we've already talked about. At SMD, we offer products from 50 millimeters deep right up to 220 millimeters with the TR220. And a simple rule really is the deeper the product, the longer it will span. The other things that govern the unpropped span capability are slab depth. Um, and slab depth may be decided based on your fire rating, um, but you can get slab depths from 100, just over 100 millimeters up to whatever you wish for your design. Um, and that will maybe increase for your loadings. All products have a minimum slab depth and they're all shown in our design criteria. You also have profile gauges, so each product comes in varying gauges from 0.7 to 1.2. Obviously, the thicker the profile, the further it will span. Um, we also offer different material grades, so steel grade from S250 right up to S450. Um, the higher the grade, again, the further the span. So there's a lot, as you can see already, just about the product that governs the maximum span. Beyond that, you've got the loadings you're going to apply to your slab, the reinforcement that you want to put in your slab, um, and that may be mesh, reinforcing mesh, it may be steel fibre reinforcement, and you may also wish to put bottom bars in. But again, the span will depend on what reinforcement you're going to put into your slab. So what is a span? When I say span, what, what does that mean? Um, the spans in all of our literature will be based on centre of beam to centre of beam. Not the clear span between the toe of the beams, it's from centre to centre, and it accounts for, in all of our load span tables, a 127 millimeter wide beam. Span conditions, you can have a single span or a double span. So the examples I gave at the very start were double span. The single span will not span as far as a double span because you get the benefit of the adjacent span on a double span scenario. And the reason we've gone with the 127 millimeter wide beam support in our tables um, relates to if you're having steel beams, composite steel beams with shear studs, then there's minimum dimensions between those studs and between the studs and the edge of the beam, and you will be butting your sheets on that beam because you will always have butt joints somewhere. That really is what's governing our tables um, as a worst case scenario. So if you're designing a build with composite steel beams where you've got studs and concrete working together, then the rule of thumb would be one, two, seven millimetres should be your minimum beam width. That's again why we put that in the tables. So if you've got larger supports than one, two, seven millimetres, those larger supports will result in bigger spans and obviously um, you will get bigger spans than the load span table information that we provide. So you would then be better off looking at a uh, design tool, maybe software or something similar. Interestingly, not everyone bases their tables on one, two, seven millimetre wide beams other people do base it on wider beams so you should exercise reading span tables with caution and make sure you're aware of the information that is contained within the tables so the design criteria upon which they're based that was a brief overview of what our decks can span with some criteria and then what actually affects those spans so if you want to actually find out more about your specific project and what the decks can span in your given design criteria download the white book get online and look at the white book use our software smd elements or we've also got the span app and there'll be another video going through the white book and watch that now like subscribe comment and thanks for listening